What's up, YouTube? Today you tuned in on Dijon and Diamonds World, and uh, this is gonna be the segment of Dijon Cooks. So, uh, Chef Ramsey uh, fixed a 10 minute carbonara uh, today. Uh, I myself have never made a carbonara, nor do I think I ever ate one. So, it's gonna be an experience, and uh, I'm gonna take y'all on that journey with me. So, what we have here, we got the linguine, we got the linguine pasta, we got some parsley. Some peas. I'm still not a fan of peas. Just in case y'all didn't know. Still not a fan of peas. Um, got some egg yolk. Some Parmesan grated cheese. Got some milk. Got a little bit of pepper. Just gonna spice it up just a little bit. Look great. Got some garlic right there. Uh -huh. Got some mushrooms right there. I'm gonna chop that up. Salt and pepper, of course. A little bit of olive oil. And right here we got some bacon. That's gonna be our main meat product inside of the, uh, the carbonara itself. So make sure you got your water boiling already and you got your pot hot. So you're gonna come over here, you're gonna grab this oil. No, no, stay with me. <laughs> you got this oil, you know, drop a little bit of oil. You don't need much, just a little bit, just to get that, get that nice and hot. There you go. All right, uh, don't take that off the fire. I don't know why I just did that. I just made the pot cold. But anyway, change the temperature of the pot. So you're gonna come over here, we're gonna cut the bacon up right here. You're gonna come right here, nice strips itself. Nice strips, there you go. I like it around the middle, when I'm cutting. Right here. There you go. I just sharpened the knife, I'm gonna always hang with it. Right there. About one inch right there. Now the first thing I should've did was put that pasta in the water. But we can do this stuff in a little bit of reverse. I'm gonna come back over here and grab the pasta. So. I'm only doing two servings because we just me and my beautiful today. So um, I'm good. So as you can see, it's supposed to be just a handful. And you can look in there, you can see it's just a handful. You know? Yeah, take the pasta. Try to get it out of there without breaking it. We don't want the we don't want the pasta broken. You're gonna take your you're gonna take your uh, your clappers and you're gonna go you want the nut off in there. Yeah, spin it off in there. No? Get it milk. There you go. Just spin in there. There you go. When you make a camera, you want those nice long strands. We'll turn it up just a little bit. Want it to melt, see? That bottom half's going off in there. There we go. It's starting to work. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So once it's fully submerged in water, you just drop it off in there, you know? All right, gonna put the top back on that and take the Then we're gonna go back over here and finish cutting out the bacon. So, it's nothing but smoked bacon. We don't have strip bacon, so uh, Chef Ramsey used two types of bacon. But, like I said, we're in Germany right now. And we don't have that uh, the luxury of going off post to, you know, find uh, different meats at the meat market. Because they got nice meat markets here. So, when I really start, you know, being able to go back off post, I'll be cooking up some real good meats out here. So, anyways, come back down here. Cut this in half. Right there. Go down the middle itself. Cut that up. Right there. Nice chunks, nice chunks. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice, nice, nice a lot uh amount of meat off in there. That coming off is gonna taste real good. Hopefully. But like I said, it's my first time making it, so I'm still pretty excited. Please mind the cutting. Okay. 
So just in case you guys didn't know, I think I am going, once I leave Germany and I finish my uh, associates in general studies, I am going to go to culinary art school. Even if I have to use my GI Bill uh, or pay my way through it myself, I'm going uh, to go ahead and put myself to culinary art school. And I may open a food truck because it's one of my passions. Mechanics is my passions, but uh, I've never been tired of cooking and I've been tired of mechanics. So, yeah. All right, so that bacon's nice. I'm gonna take that bacon, I'm gonna put it off in the pot. We have the oil. Yeah, it's nice. Come on this side. Got the mushrooms. I'm gonna put those up on nice, nice, thin, nice mushrooms. I'm gonna throw that in the cabinet now. It's what over there with the bacon as it's cooking. In there, I'm going to thin this one out. It's a nice cut, but I want them thin, you know? So it's sort of cooked all the way through. Right. Go Texas. Thanks, uh, Elijah. I feel you use knives. <laughs> Um, once you get some, you know, put a little bit of that pepper on that. Back up there, go. Yeah. Get that meat off the man. Love it. Love it. Who's that? I don't like bacon, but come on, this is bacon. Come on, this is bacon. I'm not a big fan of bacon, but that bacon is lovely, so that's good. I'm gonna take that off right there. You wanna get a carbonated stuff? Move yourself a quick skin. Okay, that's cooking right. Cooking right. Don't forget to season your pasta as it's going. Put the salt in there. Put that top back on it. Why are you doing it in minutes? Uh, probably not. So why you rush it then? Oh, I'm trying to, but then again, it's probably not going to happen, so, you know. You have nine minutes. See, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, it would be like that. You know, so we're just going to slow down there. You know, I don't want to take all day like I did try, you know. But anyway, I don't know why it took so long. What did I take so long doing? <laughs> Cutting a mushroom. Oh no, you do you you counting all the you counting all the time from when I started talking. Like he started when he started cutting and cooking. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I still got some time. Like you Oh can, probably like a minute. No, nah, I'll probably have more than that. Ain't no, because no, all you said was hey and what you finna cook. Oh, <laughs> It'd be like that though. I ain't got no industrial stove yet, but when we get back to the States we plan on buying a house and uh the kitchen and the garage is my priority and for diamond the bathroom, closets, um, mostly everything is uh, her priority. <laughs> you know, as long as I got a, kit, a nice kitchen, with a, I want an island. I want the, uh, the stove in the middle. I mean, not the stove, but the stove top in the middle on the island. I thought that was pretty cool. Chef has one of those. I want one of those. And I would like, um, I'm going to throw the garlic in now. Sorry about that. Keep you guys up to date. Yeah, I want an island in the middle of my uh, kitchen with a stove top on it. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Um, that, a nice uh, two-car garage, because I still have a motor here, regardless of if I'm planning on doing it for the rest of my life or not. I'm going to give me an old school relax. So that, and uh, I want my own game room, because right now i got a game corner. And uh, I would like my own room. <laughs> 
So give me a game room. Some people don't even have that. So I mean that's fine. You know, <laughs> uh, a lot of people don't have it. A lot of people don't have things I understand. You know, I understand. But I'm I'm blessed enough to have a wife that understands that I would like to have my own. So you got your own corner. Yeah. Be appreciative. You know saying, but my wife got a whole workout room. So, <laughs> you know, you know, but I, I'm willing to make those sacrifices so she's happy. <laughs> Anyways, so yo, yeah, those are the things we were looking for in the house. So we don't know where we're going next, but we just hope it's warm. Well, it's gonna be warm because we're not going to cold. Um, and we're gonna get us a house there, and you know, go old. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah, you know, just cooking that up. That's good. That's great. You see, if you come over here, I don't know if you can see, but come look at the brownness and come smell that uh, that garlic in there. Yeah, they can't smell it. Yeah, but you can. You smell it? Just tell them how it smells. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> All right. So, that's looking pretty good. We're going to go over here and we're supposed to be making the actual seasoning, the actual sauce itself for um, the cabanera. Um, this one of the things I felt was tricky because... I'm not a big, like, I, 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 don't, I don't eat cabanera, so I'm not a big, like, um, what's it called? Spaghetti, lasagna, pasta. pasta. Yeah, I'm, not a big, I'm, not a big I'm like, pasta fan, so you said take the grated cheese, put it over the top. Wait. Yeah. Over the top of the eggs. We'll come over here and put the milk in. Not too much, because we want it to be creamy. We're going to mix that up. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty watery, which it should not have been. So I'm gonna come over here and put some more of this in. There we go. There it is. Try to get the right consistency. Yeah. There it is right there. Look at that. Mix that real good. He dropped a little bit of water in there. Just gonna put a little bit of water in there. Not too much, just tap. I just put a little bit of water in there. There you go. And drop a little bit more cheese. It's gonna be totally cheesy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Chester. Uh, I don't know about shout out to Chester because the last two bags of hot chips that I have received have been stale. So. <laughs> yeah, <please. laughs> I'm going to need saying? that coupon, Chester. Look at that. The consistency. You know what I'm saying? So, that's good. I'm going to come back over here. Check on this. That's great. So I watched Chef Ramsey do something I've never seen somebody do, anyone do. And what he did was he took a little bit of the pasta water. He added it to that. Look at that. Look at that. Now, again, I don't like peas. But Chef Ramsey said eat peas, you eat peas. So I'll take those peas. I'll drop those peas off in there. You need that. Oh. No. <laughs> drop that off in there. There we go. Get that moving. Get that moving. There we go. Look at that. Come look at the color. The color's starting to come out. There we go. Color's really starting to come out. Okay. So, come over here. We're going. I'm gonna show you how to test pasta. So you come over here. And Chef Ramsey just. Well, I need some better tongs too. We've been working on that. Find some good tongs. So your hand should go through it smoothly. Oh, that needs more time. Definitely needs more time. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So put the top back on and speed that process up. That's ridiculous. So in the meantime, uh, let me cut that up a little bit. I actually have everything going right and well. Uh, I honestly, I, I honestly think that the stove top itself 
if it had actually been gas and actually like oh you know I mean? that's the issue no i really believe that like the industrial stoves are way better than the electric stoves mm -hmm. but i am grateful to have a stove <laughs> Damn, so i can still cook and i can still do what i love to do but i'm getting the industrial stove so for all you realtors out there you watch this we could be looking at you next Close up. Try to clean up while you cook and make it easier. But still got my salt and pepper and everything. Mm, sorry. Let's see that. What else in there? Salt. I'm gonna drop just a little bit more pepper. I'm a pepper person. Yeah. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I remember. I I ain't even good about you either, Emma. <laughs> more of a Ramsey fan, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I keep it real. You know what I'm I used to love Emerald because I used to stay up all night watching it. Yeah, you didn't call me to keep it real, chef. But, you know what I mean? I am the real plate god. Pasta is really starting to look good, though. I had already seasoned the pasta, too. I always remember to season your pasta. We're going to try another strand. Mm. I hope it's good. Mm -hmm. It's getting close. You know what I'm saying? Except Ramsey said, if you stick to the cinnamon, then it's ready. That's what they said. So, never done it, but. Oh! It ain't ready. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it know right now, it ain't ready. It ain't ready, let me pick it up. You know, so, like I said, it's the stove. Because everything else is almost ready. Ooh. Peas pop. <laughs> <laughs> so I had this grater right here. Chef Ramsey himself, he cut up the, the pepper himself. I like cut it up like Rrr. I'm not gonna do that because my wife don't really like spicy food. And I just want a little bit of spice. I mean, he actually said a little bit of spice, we cut the whole pepper up. We can't do that around here. So we're gonna do a little bit of spice. So when I get the, uh, right now, it's gonna do a little bit of grating, not much. Actually, I'm gonna cut this tip off so it can grate smooth, watch. So go, cut over here, add just a little bit more color. Ah! <laughs> yeah, just a little bit more color. Okay, here we go right here. Thank you. This is a scam. I ain't Ooh. seen that one thing come out yet. There we go. Let's get some color out there. And then do it again. There we go. That's about all I'm gonna use right there. So that's just us personally. Do what you want. Do as you please, but we ain't we ain't trying to get too up right here. So just a little bit right there. Everything looks like it's getting ready. Alright, so the pasta's ready. Pasta's ready. We're gonna drain that pasta. Make sure you cut your stove off. Make sure if you work with somebody else, they know you got a hot top out there. So bring that hot pasta. top, hot top. Bring that pasta. Leave this right here. Chef Ramsey said, well, nothing he did. He brought it over here. He brought a little bit of that water off in there. Then he dropped that in there. Yes, uh, There we go. Then he thought, he put it like that. He mixed it up just a little bit. Oh, it's starting to come alive. You guys see that? Yeah, there we go. Let's move everything around in there. I'm gonna show you what's really gonna come to life. When you come over here, and you get that sauce. Look at that. It's ready. 
and you want to move this fast. Once you get it off in there, you want to move fast because it has egg in it. So it's going to cook on the carbonara. It's going to cook on the pasta. So you come over there, grab it, and you mix that all up. Oh, you see it? It's coming to life. I need some better tongs because the ones with the holes in it don't really grab everything like it needs to be. Oh, grab. Yeah. Use uh, two spoons. Oh, yeah. But look at that. So he used creme, creme fresh, and his you can tell creme fresh, and you can tell I use milk of mine. So if we had creme fresh, I would have used creme fresh, but I looked in uh, the commissary for a while, and uh, yeah, there was no creme fresh. So this is what I'm using. And that is Cabanera. So I'll take it off the fire now. I am going to do something that he didn't do. I just feel like it's good. I'm going to drop a little bit of milk on there. I just want to see it soaked just a little bit. Make it look, because it's sticking. It got cheese in it, so of course it's going to stick. But I just want a little bit of, little bit of milk in there. Move it around just a little bit. There we go. And last but not least, the parsley. You don't need much, just a little. And that is the carbonara. So add it to the plate. Over here. So we're going to say turn it. Get a couple of turns. Shake it off. Right there. Right there in the middle. Let's get some toppings on there. Alright, same thing. You grab it, twist it, pull it up, shake it off. Right there in the middle. Get a little toppings on there. And that's it. This is a uh, Chef Remy Tim and the Carbonara. I don't know how long it took me, but uh, I still did it. I'm really excited about seeing how it tastes. And, uh, thank y'all for tuning in. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our videos. I'll be doing more cooking videos. My wife will be even doing more hair reviews and other things. She is now Amazon sponsored. So make sure you guys go check out her page and therefore check out what she has on her Amazon page and watch out for SME Activewear, which is launching on um, May the 14th. So pay attention to that. And uh, thank you all for tuning in.